Clippers in 17 minutes. Great pitching matchup though. Once they got it going, Mike Messina, Pedro Martinez. Pedro has lost his last four starts at Yankee Stadium, each loss by only one run. Bottom one was scoreless, run on second for Jason Jambi. Outside corner, called strike three. Jambi not happy with the call. Top four, no score, one out. Johnny Damon's on third, Nomar's at the plate. Nick Johnson, Alfonso Soriano. I got it, you got it, who's got it? Nick Johnson's got it. Both guys go down. Johnny Damon tags and scores, one nothing Boston. Watch it again. No injuries, thankfully, there. Johnny Damon comes in, one nothing. Bottom five, Pedro rolling along. He's got Rondell White. Down he goes for one out. Next man up, Nick Johnson. Two outs. Soriano now with a man on second. Down he goes. Pedro striking out the side. Bottom six. Still one nothing Boston. Jorge Posada down he goes with two on and two out. Pedro fired up. Bottom seven. Two nothing Boston. Rondell White. Shea Hillenbrand makes a play. And in time at first. Top of the eighth. Two nothing Boston. Trot Nixon's on second. Jose Offerman at the plate. The bunt. Posada. Body right up front of the plate, throw it there. Away it goes. Pass Robin Ventura. Nixon scores. Air on Posada, 3 0 Boston. Bottom eight, Yanks down three. Two on, though, for Bernie Williams. No Yankee got more than one hit in the ball game. Williams driving in Jeter. And the Yanks within two at 3 1. At this point, Pedro done for the night, seven and a third. Striking out nine, giving up two earned runs. Later in the eighth, it's 3 2. Down goes Basada. Ugi Urbina strikes him out. Basada striking out four times in the game. Boston wins it 4 2. Pedro, only his third win in his last 12 starts against the Yanks, has allowed just three earned runs in his last four starts. We've seen a first loss in four decisions this season against the Red Sox. Gave up two runs. Angels, Darren Erstad's left foot loosely tied. Back after missing four games with a left foot injury. Bottom one, Erstad is going to double the right off of Freddy Garcia, who's trying to improve his 7-1 lifetime against Anaheim. Shoe stays on his foot. Loosely tied and all. Next man up, Tim Salmon. A monster game for Tim Salmon. Just getting started here. Base hit. Drives in Erstad. Angels up one zip. Top two, Angels up 2-1. Ichiro, rounding to third. Runners on the corners, and Ramon Ortiz getting out of trouble as Ichiro rounds out. Bottom four, Angels up 3-1. Garrett Anderson, three for five. Deep right center, off the wall, driving in two, and Anaheim's up by the score of 5-1. It's now 11-1 on the bottom of the sixth, and Salmon, who went five for five. 15th home run of the year. Angels up 14 to 1, and they win it 15 to 3. As Garcia gives up six earned runs in four and two thirds. Mark Watson in relief, one and a third, gives up eight earned runs. And coming in, the Mariners had the best ERA in terms of bullpen in the league at 2.91, but Watson got lit up as Anaheim crushes Seattle by 12. Rangers and the A's. A's wearing retro jerseys from 1972. Tim Hudson dressed up like Raleigh Fingers. Raleigh Fingers, one of the best relievers in the history of Major League Baseball. Bottom one, Mark Ellis at the plate. Off the knee of Pudge. Pudge has been uh, banged up all year. He's tough, though. He's a catcher. He can stay in the game. John Mabry acquired from Philly for Jeremy Giambi. He's been a big addition. Two-run home run for Oakland, his fifth. And the Athletics are up by the score of 2-0. Third inning, Corey Lytle to Ruben Rivera. Rangers have homered in 21 straight games, but not here, though, as Terrence Long hauls it in. Lytle a no-no through three. Fifth inning, it's Pudge. Down he goes. Lytle, a developing situation. No-no through five. He makes a line on the baseline with his foot. His superstition working on Friday night. Seventh inning facing A-Rod, two, two outs. Eric Chavez guns him down. We got a no-no through seven. Lytle sitting by himself between innings, keeping the focus. Top eight, though. First man up, it's Juan Gonzalez. No, no on the no-no as Gonzalez doubles to right center. The no-hitter is over. Lytle, though, a masterful effort. Gets an ovation from the crowd, and then Mike Lamb 
Down he goes on strikes. Lytle striking out six. A complete game one hitter. 20 and six now in his career after the All-Star game. He fails though to become the first athletic since Dave Stewart in 1990 to throw a no hitter. So the Dodgers they don't like each other Giants two games back in it in the West Barry Bonds going down swing he's got nothing bottom 11 tied at two Rob Nant pitching Eric Carroll's going deep to left shit Joe nothing and Bonds can't get it either Carroll there with the triple but we're going to focus ourselves on Barry Bonds here in just a smidge cameras back out to left Barry Bonds on that right leg he's got a right hamstring injury he is day to day after that whole scenario, we bring up Brian Jordan. He didn't want to leave Atlanta for L.A., but he's digging it these days. Little bit bingo. Little ground to the third. It's not going to work. Dave Roberts still at third. After two intentional walks to load the bases, man, Kate, Chad Kruder, two down. Next up, Alex Cora. Rounds into the week. Three, one, put out. Giants escaping the threat. Cora. Hey, baseball. Top of the 12th. Runs at the quarters. Two down. Tom Goodwin. If it's a base hit, it's a base hit. It is. JT, JT Snow scores. Box replacement comes through. 3 2 G men. Dusty Baker. Loving it. Good reason because that score would hold up right there. Giants win 3 2. Barry Bonds 0 for 3. Two case, two walks. Took some BP before the game and figured out how to do this. Yanking it down the first baseline past Mark Grace. Holy, holy, you come free. David Lucci having some issues down the corner. Mark is going to score Klesko's first triple of the year. Now 53 ribs of the season. It's now 3 1. Bottom three, Klesko's at it again. Going to the other way. Klesko, four for four of the day. A triple, a double, a pair of singles. Now Batista needs a little talking too. Runners in the corners. Bubba Trammell had three knocks on the game and three official at bats. This not an official at bat. A sack fly. Great defense by Luis Gonzalez. And I think we need to look at this again. Robin. Bubba Trammell of a three-run jack. Gonzo also two for four on the day. Not enough though for the D-backs as the dads win. Six to one in this affair. Bobby Jones. Leaguer Finley scratched from his start for Cleveland Friday night. Only 4-11, 4.44 ERA. The Cards have been looking for starting pitching help since the death of Daryl Kyle. And the Cardinals in action against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Bud Smith struggling. Only 1-5 this season. Walks Craig Wilson. Next man up. Walks Kevin Young. The bases are now loaded. And then Adam Heisdu. One for five with no home runs this year with the bases loaded, and Heisdu does. We have a grand slam. His first career grand slam. Pirates up 7-2. Give the man a curtain call. Top seven, St. Louis down 8-3. Ron Valona, Miguel Cairo. That's going to score Fernando Vina and Placido Polanco. Cards now within three at 8-5. Out comes Valone. Jesus Manzanillo in. Five batters later, Eli Marrero drives in two more. Marrero three for four with four RBIs in the game. And we're now all tied up at eight runs apiece. Man on the quarters now, Vigna, Brian Giles, efforting, makes a great effort, keeps the game tied. Critical play there. Bottom seven, Pittsburgh up 9-8. Rob Makoviak, pinch hitting. Fair or foul? It's fair. It's a two-run home run. His 11th of the year, and Pittsburgh wins 12-9. Highs do his third career three-hit game. That's all in 64 career games. He went three for five. The four RBIs and three runs are a career high. Just a card's third loss in 11 games all time at PNC Park. All right, so the Reds now three games behind the cards. They get the match. Mike Piazza taking on Jared Fernandez. The fans love Jared Fernandez's knuckleball. So does Mike Piazza. 393 feet away and 40 feet tall. It's a 428-foot jack, just the third to ever go over that wall. And that's up 2-1. Check out Kelly Stinnett. He couldn't get it, but we need to look at the umpire over here. The umpire, Bill Miller, taking a tumble. I have to get some attention. Would finish the half inning, but then would leave. Now we have some issues. Bases loaded in the fifth. Austin Kurds. Drill pretty good.
Austin Kearns not happy. Bob Boone not happy either. Remember, we only had three umpires. Maybe if we had a fourth, they would see this. Timo Perez admitted. And he caught it off the wall. Look at that. Fletch right into his glove. Should not have been ruled. And now through an interpreter after the game, Perez said, yeah, it hit the wall. We look right here. If we had four umpires, that umpire might have been out there to watch. And Bob Boone might have been a much happier man. Instead, his Reds go down 4-2. The Mets have now won 5 of 6. Mike Piazza, 20th jack, his 10th consecutive season with at least 20. And Gardner Alfonso, 2 for 4. He's batting 463 in his last 10 games. The Braves' magic number to clinch the NL East is 56. 11 and a half up on Montreal Braves. Good field. We have some throwback uniforms. The Braves from 74, the Phillies from 1980. Oh, back in Larry Boa's day. Well, the Phillies not looking like Larry Boa's team from 1980. Andrew Jones, 21st Jack of the Year. Braves up one squat. Top four, Duckworth. It's in trouble. Vinny Castilla, he gets the walk, loads of bases. Next up, Javi Lopez. Well, that's just charity. Chipper Jones scores three straight walks, two squat Braves. Top six, one on, one out, Castilla. When it's over the wall, it's a home run. It's not over the wall, it's in the park. Castilla, second with a double, bottom eight now. The Braves up a three spot. Brandon Duckworth, wish he wasn't there. Two men on, two out for Travis Lee. Mark DeRosa, the pick, and the out. We call that gold glove defense. Braves up 4-1. They hold on to this thing. Damian Moss, six innings, no earned runs. Village. Two through four hitters. One for 11, six Ks. That is not getting it done. Astros and the Cubs. Nelson Cruz pitching Moises Salou, the one-time Astro. There it goes. His ninth of the year, and Chicago is up by the score of one nothing. Rookie Mark Pryor, he was a story. Fred Biggio, down he goes. Lance Berkman, down he goes. Next man up is Jeff Bagwell. He's not happy about what's happening. Top seven, Daryl Ward. Mark Cuban, thrilled about the fact that he was able to sell when the NASDAQ was at its high. Why didn't he have an Astros game? And thankfully they don't sing at NBA games. Or a Rangers game. Meantime, Pryor got some dirt in the eye. Get some eye drops and get the dirt out. Orlando Merced. Get a pie in the face. Pryor, the story comes when five zip. We're now six and two since the All-Star break. Eight innings for Pryor, the longest outing of his career. Gives up uh, two earned runs now or fewer in eight of his last 11 starts. Takes effect on Saturday, so Hunter playing on Friday. Top four scores game, Brian Moy. Probably wishes he just wouldn't have woke up this morning. Corey Cosby, check out where this thing lands. 447 feet away, just the tenth home run hit to center in Comerica's three years of service. More charity by Moeller. David Ortiz, first pitch, next batter, Moeller. He got an extra day off before the start. Probably wishes he wouldn't have. That was number eight on the year for Ortiz. Now, I hate baseball! Oh, the man just needs a hug. It would get worse. Drop the six, three, one, Doug Minkavich. Full count, his favorite nursery rhyme character, Jack or Jill? It's Jack. His fourth of the year, Minkavich. Two for four on the game. End of the six, Moeller. Getting up close and personal with Mitt and then taking down other people's equipment. Rough day, six innings, nine hits, four earned runs, give up three jacks, Twins win, 5-1. Of the three home runs for the Twins, and now improved to 12-0 this season when hitting three or more. Kyle Loesch, six innings. And allowed just two earned runs now in his last three starts. Congratulations. White Sox and the O's, Melvin Moore's had a rough couple of days Thursday. A night unlike any Hit once. Hit twice. twice. Man's got quintuplets at home, give the man a break. Hit three times. Friday, ground ball. Not where a man wants to be hit. And stay in the game barely. Fourth inning goes up 5-3. Chris Singleton. Bases loaded. Single that drives in two. Singleton, the sixth straight oil to reach base in the fourth. Part of a six-run inning. Goes up 9-3 after four. Rodrigo Lopez takes it from there. A night out. Get it? 7-0 in night games heading into Friday. Frank Thomas. Down he goes. 
Mark Johnson at the top of the seventh down. He goes. Lopez strikes out a career high eight and in seven innings. He's an AL best eight no in night games. Those went at 10 4. Jay Gibbons and Ronald McGill each with two hits and two RBIs. Lopez now is the first Oriole rookie to win 10 games since Rocky Coppinger did it in 96. White Sox have lost seven of nine. Kansas City Royals are streaking. Fully clothed. Winners of seven in a row. And that's Jason Phillips starting to place with Chuck Finley, who was supposed to start before being traded. And Carlos Beltran going to first. Lee Stevens. First of two errors on the game. Allows a run to score. We all even Stevens at three apiece. Bottom seven. Four three Royals. Joe Randa facing Dave Risky. Runners on the corners and Risky. Ah, he's not going to like it. Risky business there. Beltran heads to second. First of two steals. Honor Diaz as throw gets away. Royals up 5-3 on the air. Next up, Rola Banyas. His father must be a Midwestern Pepsi bottler because that son has some pop in that back. There she goes! Three-run shot. It's 13th of the season. Two for three for Banyas. Now 57 ribs. Royals win 8-5. He was two for three. We mentioned that. Toronto. And Tampa. And Joe Lawrence up. And Jason Smith, very charitable. Can't handle it. His fourth error on the year. Do-over. Bottom five, game tied at six. Shannon Stewart up, and he's found the weak link. Jason Smith, his arm goes crazy. Second error of the game, fifth of the year. Bottom of the eighth is some kind of Groundhog Day thing. Smith, it's short. Smith, he's got it. The arm's crazy again. He doubles his error total on the year, now has six. The Jays win this thing 11-8. Smith also one for four on the day, two Ks. Make it 12 straight road losses for the D-Rays. I miss you, man. Jeff Torbor got some concerns. We got a swarm of bees under one of the seats. We got more bees at pro player than fans. Top of the second, no out. Cliff Floyd's first at bat. That's how he goes. Marlins waste no time. You know, when you got bees, you got to call the bee man. That's the bee man coming to the scene. You better hurry. Javier Vasquez, an RBI single. Fernando Tatis is going to score on the... Soft shot there. 2-1 Expos. Are the Marlins cursed by the Bees? B-Man coming to the Marlins' aid. Sits down. Full-fledged stare down. B-Man, he's not intimidated. He's drinking a soda. Must be working. Why? Well, Luis Castillo driving in two on a misplay by Orlando Cabrera. Castillo in his second. Marlins up by the score of 3-2. B-Man working his game now. B-Man is focused on the task at hand. Sure. He's got the handy vac. He's got his Marlins gear on. Marlins take advantage with an Eric Owens RBI double, and the Marlins are up by the score of uh, four to two. The eight-game losing streak curse, and the bees are vacuumed away by the B-man. B-man doing a great job. The Marlins finally win a game. Billy the Marlin is thrilled about. Uh, Getting those bees out of there. Marlins win for the first time since the All-Star break, snapping that eight-game losing skid. They had been 0-7 since trading Floyd and Ryan Dempster. Floyd did go one for five and has hit safely in five of seven games since rejoining the Expos. Because the schedule maker said so. The Brewers and Rockies, Colorado eyeing its fifth straight win. Todd Hollinsworth eyeing that. Just basking in the glory of being a marksman in his craft. Tenth home run of the year. It's 3-1 Brewers. Bottom four, it's peak 4-3 Brewers. Here come those Rockies, Cavedo, Hollinsworth again. Hollinsworth, get a little bit of bingo over there in left center field. By rule, that's a ground rule double. Hollinsworth 20th of the season, bottom five. Still 4-3 Brewers, base is juiced. Hollinsworth against Cavedo, and Hollinsworth is freshly squeezed. A little duck snort into center. Drops right in front of Jeffrey Hammonds, two runs score, 5-4 Rocks. Hollinsworth on the day, three for four, three ribs, two runs. Just a triple shy of the cycle. 